Good evening and welcome to another edition of Tobacco Shorts, where I'm going to be trying another tobacco snuff. Tonight's tobacco snuff is the Joseph and Henry Wilson Limited Top Mill Number no. 1 Snuff. Let's get a little bit of history about it. John and Henry Wilson's special top mail number one is a finely ground snuff that remains widely popular among snuff fans of all experience levels. The subtle flavors of J&H top mail number one are quite similar to those of J&H SP number one, but with an added citrus zest. Now, it has been brought to my attention that some of my tobacco snuff here is old as dirt and probably has lost a lot of the flavors in there. So I'm going to see if I can pick out anything in this one. Let's give it a try. As always, best practice is to... Wrap that against the palm of your hand to get it to settle. Oh, that's good. I know I had it open the other day. All right, a pair of pliers later, and I got that open. It does smell citrusy. It's a bit zesty. Remember that citrusy? It's, yeah, a little bit like a lemon or lime uh, zest. Let's try this again here with the little spoon. Here's the snuff box on the hand. And uh, let's uh, see how it is. Cheers. Well, still having a bit of a citrus zing to it there. I don't want to say this just because it's old, but it smells dusty. It smells a bit like petrichor, a little bit like dust after rain, and a little more of that starchy pasta, undercooked pasta note. It's almost in a salty place, but not quite. Just a little starchy. I would say that I would not recommend this particular tin at its current age. You'd probably want to try something fresher. So I'm going to chalk this up to um, needing to get some fresh stuff. But interesting to try the old stuff and have a little bit of a comparison. So I'll put that on my list. And after I'm done with the 30 some odd I've already got, uh, that will be part of the batch that I get next time. So I will see you next week for Tobacco Corner. Let me know if there's a snuff you want me to try. Cheers.